now let's talk about the fundamentals of the PDG form, which is the thrusting fingers. So this is the main attack of the entire form based on. So the use of this is is as a preemptive strike or as a sneak attack. Okay? The reason is because this attack is the furthest, longest reach that you have on your body other than your kick. Okay? And also, it is the fastest to go from here to here. Okay? This is going to be uh, have longer reach than a punch or even this kind of knuckle strike. This has more reach. Okay? And it's much faster than any punch. Okay? So what you can do to train your beauty is to try to use it without telegraphing your, um, your movement. Okay? So ideally, what you want to do, let's say that your hands are down here in a non-threatening position, which will actually enhance your non-telegraphability, because if you have your hands here, they know where you're going to fight. But if you have your hands down, they probably think, oh, he's not ready to fight yet. But you actually, if you put your hand here, and you go directly to your target in this line, this is the fastest line from point A to point B. So notice that I'm not coming up and then striking. I'm going directly from the resting position directly to the target. Now if you can get good from going from here to here, just imagine if you're just doing like this, okay? You're just talking like this, put your hands together, and go from here to here. Now it's even faster. Okay? Like that. So how you can train this is you can have a partner hold a pad. Okay? And what you're trying to do is try to hit the pad without him uh, or before he pulls it back. Okay, let's try that first without the slapping. So trying to hit the pad before you can pull it back. Okay? Trying to have non-telegraphability. Now once you get good at that, okay, you can you can start adding in the slap. So you want to do it before he can slap you and also uh, before you can pull it back, okay? So, I'll do it slow, okay? So if he slaps you, that means you're, you're too slow, okay? But if you can hit it before he can slap you, that means you're on time, okay? So the key to this is try not to move your shoulder before you move your hand. You wanna move your hand and then move your shoulder, okay? Hand up in a straight line, then move your shoulder. Okay. If you chamber, and then move, that's too slow. Okay, so you're like this. Okay, that's the idea. So, very useful um, technique to use when somebody is about to strike, or somebody is ambushing you. You can just flick it into the, into the eye area, and then if you're lucky, you hit him in the eye, but most likely, he's gonna flinch. And it'll buy you a second, maybe a couple seconds, to um, get yourself in position, and to defend yourself or to launch another attack. Okay, so that's some of the principles of beauty.